Since these tables are already bolted down perpendicular to the table, instead of pushing off each other, what happens if we pull? This simulates using the table as a surface to build sideways off of. After all, as a designer, it's important to make sure I've designed my table in a robust way to support any kind of load, even when forces are pulling against the sides. So here's how I think the test should go. To keep it fair, we should pull equally against each other. So we'll attach a come along to each table and then pull to recreate a simulated load, testing the strength of the sidewall of the table. Now, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put this come along and when I hook it into the eyelet, it's gonna pull on this load cell that's been bolted to each side. And then we're gonna take a measurement reading with the load cell and see with maybe 250 kilograms, that's 500 pounds or so, we're gonna watch to see which table design is handling the load the best. The other thing to notice is that these two tables are not sitting perpendicular to the table right away. Here's what I mean by that. Here's my stare at two foot square and just by bolting the table down, the segment is about a 35 thousandths of an inch lean back in two feet. And then over the entire distance, we're at like 150 thousandths or so with the level. So if this was me and I was gonna use this platen in this configuration, I would have to come back through with some shims and shim underneath this back flange over here to get it perfect. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a handicap and we're gonna add these shims to the measurement as we go. Okay, so it's unfortunate that you have to shim this table up. It's supposed to be a machine surface. Machine surface should be a little closer than that, but what can you do? Doing the same test on the Dragon Wagon, with the same square over here, we are much, much, much closer. And it looks like we're about 10 thousandths of an inch in two feet. I wouldn't worry about shimming this if I was gonna use this platen in this configuration. I would just build off of it and go. So I'm gonna call the fireball good. Couple things to note, the Dragon Wagon is much taller, so we've lowered the probe height to be equal to the steel table. That way there's no mechanical advantage when the steel table is pulling the Dragon Wagon over. The next thing to note is I have no idea if these tables are moving, so I'm gonna leave the level here so I can physically look at the bubble and see the tables move.